much space to the inciters. We've given too much space to the dividers. We've given too much space. We've given them season tickets on question time. We've given them their own television stations. We've given them newspaper columns and magazine columns. We've given them radio shows. And yet still they claim that they're marginalised or silenced. Still they claim that they're frozen out of public discourse, that their concerns are ignored. And therefore it is inevitable, if I disapprove, but it is inevitable that people are trying to uh, burn down hotels containing children, innocent children. This is Majesty Sussex Report. Thank you for spending some of your valuable time with us. We start today with a timeline. Three young girls were tragically stabbed to death and another eight were injured during a Taylor Swift dance class in South Port. Social media quickly spread misinformation with posts speculating that the attacker was a Muslim, migrant, refugee, or foreigner. This misinformation garnered at least 27 million impressions on Twitter. One of the key vectors in this viral spread was the notorious Andrew Tate, still awaiting trial on being intimate with someone without their permission, also known as RAPE, and human trafficking charges in Romania. Tate told his 10 million followers on X or Twitter, and I quote, an illegal migrant arrived on boat one month ago. Then he decided to stab children, said Tate. Then posting a picture and claiming falsely, this is the man from Cardiff that murdered little girls straight off the boat, 17 year old demonic monster. Let's clarify some of what Tate said there. The attacker was indeed from Cardiff and Black, but he is not the person of the picture that Tate posted. That is not the attacker. Tate's false claims was then picked up and amplified by Dan Wooten and Lawrence Fox to Gems recently sacked from GB News, with Fox suggesting the attacker was on a terror watch list. He then said, why is he in this country? Well, Fox, I can answer that question for you because he's British. He was born here. Now, there is no evidence that this, the, the attacker was on any terror watch list at all. Shut the borders, close it, said Fox, then followed up by tweeting to his 530,000 followers on X. We need to permanently remove Islam from Great Britain completely and entirely, exclaimed Fox. Invasion Europe or Europe invasion I'm not sure which order it goes in. Another far right group, which had told its followers as news of the stabbing broke in a post, which was viewed more than 7 million times. The attacker is alleged to be a Muslim immigrant. That is what they did. And then they posted an image, an AI created image with the tagline, we must protect our children. What the image is, is a child that is white, blonde, blue eyes, has a sweater with the Union Jack flag in front of it, 
and there are four grown body men following or running behind this child. I have chosen to semi show the image, but to block it off with circles so you don't get, you use your imagination. Neighbors of the attacker say that as far as they know, the family is Christian. But that didn't stop Tommy Robinson, founder of the English Defense League and a hero to the rioters, saying, I told you so, telling his 800,000 followers, nobody can say they weren't warned. I've been warning you now for years. Meanwhile, others on social media were naming the attacker and the name they gave him was Ali. Now, was there any truth to the name of the attacker being Ali? A Muslim name, an Arab name? No, they just invented it. In court, the real name of the attacker was revealed. I'm not going to reveal it here because I, I, don't, I, I don't think it's right. He's 17 and I don't feel right to reveal his name, period. With the prosecution revealing his name and also revealing that he has autism. He's on the autism spectrum disorder um, and he's been diagnosed. He has been unwilling to leave his house or communicate with his family for a long period of time as we understand it. So how did we get to the name Ali? How did we get to that false Arabic name? How did it get out there? It appears the original source was a well-known climate denier and anti-COVID lockdown campaigner. But the lie was then well, it was was then spread by this obscure news site called Channel Three Now News, which claims to be in the U.S. but offers no street address, no phone number. Uh, it has no byline on 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 this article. So, what we found out is that. It's actually most likely in Russia and it's being used as clickbait and to just fuel the fire. So in times like these where our governments or democracy or our people need to know the truth, need to understand what actually has been taking place where information needs to be verified so it's truthful and not information that is false, inciting to more violence. Where is the owner of Twitter, the owner of X, Elon Musk? What has he been doing? Well, the great citizen that Elon Musk is, the civic citizen of the world, he has been challenging the government. He has been in, some may say, allegedly, allowing false information to fester and find their way to the people who are out on the streets. What Elon Musk has been doing is retweeting inflammatory tabloid headlines about immigrants and people of color. And then he captions it, is this still happening? As he is just asking a question. When Elon Musk took over Twitter in 2022, one of his first acts 
was to welcome back to reinstate the account of Andrew Tate, which once reinstated, he got an additional 9 million followers. Let me repeat that, 9 million followers. He also, welcome back to the fold, right wing Tommy Robinson and others. He continuously say that Europe is heading into civil war. Governments, especially I would say conservative governments who have been short-sighted and ready to privatize everything and give away everything that is of benefit to the people. We know, you know, that nothing will happen to Elon Musk. Governments depend on him. He owns Starlink. Even the military in the US, I've been told, depends on Starlink. At one point, he had cut off access to Starlink to Ukraine. Because at some point, I guess, allegedly, he didn't want Ukraine to succeed or to defend themselves. The corruption in politics with billionaires, multimillionaires, and their influence on politicians and our political systems. We are being fed each other as enemies when the truth is right in front of us for those who are willing and want to see it and know it my last question i guess is where are the peacemakers where are they what happened to the peacemakers for all I see are the chaos provocateurs, those that are ready to see everything go in flame and for us to destroy each other. What happened to the peacemakers? Diamonds in the pearls, but don't call me a bad girls run the world. We too 
bag Y'all been mad, I buy my home man handbag I bought up my man has Then you broke hoes, can't stand that I'm burning green, it's spinning green I'm buying all the nicer things I want a car, I buy a car I'll burn the car, fuck you say It's my money, no man for me I'll pay for the that I've been wanting No rock on me, no stop on me If I feel cold, I'll burn money I own this and got this Look, this dress has pockets So deep, I can keep my rolls closed So I know what you are want some bad Buying diamonds and the pearls, but don't call me a b bad girls run the world. Bad girls in the back stay what? Bad girls in the back stay what? Bad girls in the back stay up. Bad girls in the back stay up. Bad girls in the back get up. Buying diamonds and the pearls, but don't call me a b bad girls run the world.